and Devin from the Regina Public Library. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at the library. Yeah, uh, my name's Devin Pachalik, and uh, my um, role at the library is in marketing and communications, and uh, I'm an administrator. And basically what I do is I run the social media, and I do media requests, and uh, make sure that the public is aware of programming that's happening. And a lot of people might know we have some funny memes on our social media. I'm one of the people that does that. So I make jokes. I, I love my job. I love the library so much. Everyone likes to do fun things. Uh, I checked your media out this morning, <laughs> actually. How is the library adapted to being closed during COVID-19? Great question. So we have expanded our digital services like crazy. Do you guys use the library? Yeah, we, yes, have, yes, we, we actually we do, we do uh, use, use a lot of library, library, uh, library systems. systems. Nice, library. yeah. Uh, uh, and we even have, have like a Libby, Libby app. So. Oh, you, you use Libby. Okay, that's great. So Libby and Overdrive, uh, as you know, uh, is a digital service. Oh, you might be able to hear my dog through this. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, Libby and Overdrive are uh, digital apps where you can get comic books and um, novels, audio books, all for free with your library card. Um, but we, those ex services have been expanding like crazy. A lot of the companies that we work with have been giving people more access to more books each service is a little bit different, so I won't get into all of them, but Hoopla is another one. Do you, know, uh, do you guys know yeah, Hoopla? Yeah. 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 We, we, I love that one for comic books, personally. It's the best. And also, I happen to know you guys are Minecraft fans. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, there's a Minecraft comic. You should check it out. It's pretty cool, and it's on Hoopla. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, 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 there's a, a lot, lot of Minecraft, Minecraft comics. comics. There's, there's a, uh, uh, it's kind of crazy, crazy, but... but... It's fun stuff. I love it. Uh, so, Hoopla is one, and Canopy is a movie and documentary streaming service. So, just like Netflix or Disney Plus, you can watch movies from home from the library in our collection, and uh, uh, not in our collection, but on Canopy's collection. And uh, another way we've adapted is we've started, we started doing, doing uh, online, online instructional, instructional videos, videos for art classes and how to do story times with your kids. And we have a lot more coming. Uh, we're going to be rolling out programming for teachers and parents. And there's quite a bit coming down the pipeline with that, that kind of online stuff. If you have any questions for Devin, please put them in the comment section below. Uh, which company has surprised you the most with how they have expanded services with the library's digital resources? Yeah, uh, me personally, um, I'm a huge Hoopla fan, and I know a lot of people are. That's a great app to use for your books and stuff. Uh, one of my favorite things is they have this collection uh, on the app right now. And uh, with Hoopla, you get 10 borrowing credits per month. So you can get 10 books or 10 movies per month on that app. Uh, but they have an entire collection of 1,100 books and movies and albums that are unlimited borrows. And I, again, I love comic books and I have found tons of awesome comic books in that collection and you can get unlimited borrows on those ones. That's awesome. Yeah, we, it's pretty cool. We love using the to, library to go resources for eBooks. What feedback have you gotten about the program with the new people using, using with the result of the pandemic? Yeah, um, so on social media, people have been going crazy with positive comments. Um, I think, you know, you, we try and reach out to people who need the library the most. There's so many in the city, people in the city that they, they rely on this for their entertainment and education. And uh, we've had tons and tons of positive reactions on this. Uh, we actually just got the news that we, uh, since March 15th, we've had somewhere in the range of 4,500 new library card signups um, for the digital library card that we're offering. And so if you call, that's a big number, right? <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. If you call 306-777-6000, uh, 
that's a helpline uh, to sign up for your digital library card. And uh, so many people have been doing this and I just hope everybody's finding some comfort with the library, you know? That's an amazing number. I thought the 1,000 was big for a YouTube channel, but that's a big number yeah. for signups. We will post yeah, the, like every single we one will, is a subscription. We will post the number in our notes on YouTube. Sure. Hey, what? I'll get you the the official one that was uh, kind of off the top of my head, but I know it's it's pretty big. Yeah. What other online resources are available while the library is closed? If you have young children, Tumble Books is a great one. Uh, it's a service where uh, it reads stories uh, with a professional narrator and uh, it follows along with the reading so if you're learning how to read or if you, there's little ones um, that are learning how to read uh, it has narration running through and they can follow along with the books there's like little animations and things like that and uh are you are you, school's out right now am i right yes yeah i don't know why school will be in but you never yeah. know are you guys sad about that yeah sort of yeah. but sort of not yeah Sort of not. More time for Minecraft and basketball and hockey. Although you can't play those things, can you? Uh, Bark Andre Furry asks, are there ge geographic restrictions for the uh, digital library card? Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, so we're the Regina Public Library, so we serve our Regina residents. Uh, but we do have services that you can check out on our website, uh, especially if you're a parent. Uh, we have links. Um, there's a blog post up there called Expanded Library Services. If you click that one, um, uh, Romance Novel Cloud is an example. You don't need a Regina Public Library card number to access that. And that's a service that has unlimited romance novels, more than you could ever think of reading, and they're totally free. And another resource that you don't need um, access in Regina to get is the... Um, library archive i believe it's called again it's this information's on our website at reginalibrary.ca and uh this library archive again you don't need a regina public library card you could just get whatever you want um there's millions of titles on that site uh, actually bark is in las vegas and uh, we're a bit big in vegas somehow oh you're big in vegas awesome Go from... golden night um he likes the Golden Knights way too much. I know. Yeah. Some <laughs> of the players on the good, good to see that we're interviewing a fellow Vegas fan. I think that's what you said. You kind of cut out. Uh, uh, our dad drove by the library in Cathedral, and a man was sitting out front using the library's Wi Fi in his lawn chair. Awesome. Wait, <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to question that. I'll just say, okay. Yeah. No, that, that's great, actually, because uh, your dad is very smart. He, uh, he, he saw that uh, we have expanded our Wi-Fi access at all the library branches in Regina, and that's to help people who need the most help getting these resources. So um, we made sure that we got the reach out. So if you have an old device and you're having trouble accessing the internet, um, yeah, feel free to hang out outside the library. Get get what you need. How have you been able to help people who might have digital access? Might not. But might not have. Dad, typo. Yeah, so uh, again, we've expanded our Wi-Fi for that. Uh, we're, we're looking into ways of how we might, um, uh, as the phases of Saskatchewan's reopening happens, how maybe one day we could plan uh, computer access for people. Uh, it's, it's always, always a, tough a tough question. question. Um, one one thing, thing that we did is we partnered with Reach uh, and they give food donations. And so we were able to bundle up these food donations with books. That was a, a one-time program, but we're always kind of looking for other ways to do stuff like that. Art wants to borrow Bob's library card. Okay, but I can't tell anybody. Okay, you just told about five people, seven I, I can't tell anybody what it is. Like, like so. Oh, somebody wants to borrow your library card? I know. Yeah, they need to get their own. They could just call 306-777-6000 and uh, oh, try for their own. 
But he's in Vegas, so that's going to be oh, okay. complicated. Well, yeah, that's going to be tough, yeah. Uh, complicated stuff, guys. We see you posting <laughs> on... We post it... We see you posting some really funny book-related things on Twitter. How do you come up with your content? Uh, well, I am a comedy writer. That's one thing that I do outside of the library. Um, so people may have seen my stuff in Vice or CBC. Uh, but we always, we encourage creativity. We're the library, right? Uh, yes. When you go to the library, it's all about expanding your mind. So... Uh, when I come up with jokes for the library feed, it's all about connecting with people in Regina. So I think like, you know, would I share that? Uh, would my friends share that? Um, is this something that people will get? I, I, I Just whatever I can do to bring joy to people with the library, I'm all about that. And we, and we bring, bring joy, joy to people by, by just simply talking. talking. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that great? I love it. I love it. I love it. How was there? How was the Twitter for Dummies book? <laughs> That's a deep cut. So, yeah. So you're referring to an interview that I did with uh, CTV, I believe, uh, and I was reading a Twitter for Dummies book. Excellent read. Taught me everything I know. I highly recommend that one. Anybody can. Is read there it. a way? Anybody it says Twitter for Dummies. Is there <laughs> a way for people who would like to help? People who don't do not have digital access. That's a really tough question. I mean, if uh, you can get the people you know uh, devices safely, um, if you have something old kicking around, uh, uh, some people have tablets that they're not using that they maybe don't know can access all of the digital resources that we have at ReginaLibrary.ca. Get those devices into your loved ones' hands if you're not using them. Um, it's really tough right now because of social distancing to uh, to get around that, but it's a challenge. We're looking into it. Uh, can, uh, can the library, library distribute your, your, your friends, friends are, are, and, and family, family are, are all hooked up? up? Friends, friends and, and family. family are all hooked up. That's a really good idea. Um, it's something that we uh, we're experimenting with when uh, we were still open. So if you go to some library branches, you could borrow inside the library laptops. Um, this is something that we've looked at at other library systems. We're not doing it right now, um, but it's definitely something that we are looking into. Okay, do you think kids or adults who read books that involve violence are, is bad for them? Uh, I mean, I'm not a parent. I don't have the authority to answer that. Uh, I mean, personally, I read a lot of comic books, as I've been saying. That has some violence in there. So, you know what? Everything That's a good time to educate your kids, right? Have a, have a conversation. Talk about what is reality, what is fiction, and uh, that's up to families to decide. Actually, Actually I, I was, was reading, reading a book, a book that involves, involves some, some violence. violence. No, no, no. no. And, and, no. and he's, he's okay. okay. He's okay. Hurt. He's not yeah, physically hurt. Yeah. Now I'm reading a book by Roald Dahl. Oh, wow. You're going advanced. The Twits. The Twits book. So that involves some violence, but it... Okay. It's good and bad. So technically it's okay. Uh, what's your favorite book or author? <laughs> oh, I really love the uh, Red Rising series. Um, Red Rising is about uh, this society in the future. It takes place on Mars. There's um, uh, humanity has advanced so far that there's red people who are kind of the slaves of society and they have to build up the world so that the gold, the elites can live. But then the plot twist is the whole thing is a lie and they've just been forcing them to work for nothing. It's a brilliant series. It's one of my favorites, so full of action. And I will warn you, there is definitely violence in that book, but uh, it, it's it's a good time. It's an excellent book. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it got made into a TV show someday. Red Rising, it's a- yeah. Red Rising. A TV show. It's now official. <laughs> we want it to become a TV show, although I don't haven't even read the book. Okay, I also love Hulk. That's an easier one to sell. I love oh, uh, yeah. being Hulk. Oh, 
by the way, Harry Potter is free online right now. You can get it through the library. Um, uh, I think it's on the Libby app, actually. And uh, it has unlimited borrows. So the first Harry Potter is up there. Um, check it out. I just want to let you know, guys, everything's free. This is good. I just want to say this because this, this is funny. So one time I was looking on Libby and I'm like, uh, let's. Look. I forget which book it was, but it was either Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or The Great Glass Elevator. I looked and I said, how much weeks would it take? And on the audiobook and the physical copy for Kobo, the first one, the Kobo, the ebook copy took nine weeks. The listening copy took ten weeks. Wow. Oh, wow. What, do you guys like audiobooks? Uh, I don't, I'm listening to one right now. I'm listening to the Chamber of Secrets. I don't even, I don't use audiobooks. I like to read them myself. Like, I like yeah. to use, read the ch chance section myself. I don't want, like, some robot telling it to me. Uh, <laughs> well, right. You know what? There, there's some amazing audiobooks out there right now. So on these apps that I'm talking about, Hoopla and Libby, they are narrated by professional actors, yeah. and they sound awesome. They're so good. So yeah. I do recommend audiobooks. I love them. I like using my eyeballs, though. That's just you just like using them. your eyeballs. Me too. I, See, that's, that's where wears these glasses. I get, I like using my eyeballs. You guys can use your ears. <laughs> yeah. Have, have you ever thought, thought of having, having a, a Zoom party, party where, where a book, book is acting out, out for kids, kids to help, to help entertain, entertain them during, them during this time? time? Yes, we have thought about that. That's a great question. Um, uh, right now, we have a DIY story time program on our Facebook and YouTube uh, and Twitter and all of our social media. And that actually teaches parents how to do that. We, we've been talking about doing other kind of webcam, um, like what this person's talking about, Zoom parties. Now, we do uh, book clubs over Zoom. So if you go to reginalibrary.ca, uh, you, and you need people to talk to about some incredible books, check out our online book clubs. You can join us on Zoom, and we have professional authors on there and speakers, and uh, they're quite popular, actually. A lot of people are on them, so it's just a great place to build a community. Actually, like the start of COVID-19, around the start, we interviewed... No, around the... Yeah, we interviewed Arthur Slade, the author. Arthur Slade, yeah, he's a fantastic Saskatchewan author. Right on, love that guy. Me Who is your favorite comic book, book artist? My favorite comic book artist uh, right now is the artist in the series Saga. Um, Saga is a space fantasy one. I actually forget her name off the top of my head. I'm really sorry. She's an incredible artist. Uh, beautiful, touching drawings and. Uh, the, the book saga, it's an adult kind of book, so I don't recommend it for kids, but man, that is an awesome series. And you can find that one on Hoopla also with your library card. I've read a lot of uh, adult books just because I love sci-fi. You and like sci-fi? Sci-fi is like my favorite not favorite thing to ever. kids, kind of. Some sci-fi yeah. books aren't allowed to kids, but sometimes sounds like, actually, I want to read that. Uh, uh, for for us and Devin, I've never read Maurice Bernard. If Bernard's? that's how you say that, Bernard. Yeah. Bernard's. Nothing about it. Uh, nothing not, general, nothing about general about it. Grace is suffocate asks. Is suffocate? I haven't uh, read that. Uh, no. But you know, I'm always open to recommendations. Um, reading brings me a lot of joy. What is the funniest? thing that's happened to you at the library what is the funniest thing hmm um i i do a lot of interviews so usually i'm the prankster uh there um one time cbc was interviewing me and i uh set up an elaborate series of pranks for uh Emily Pasiak, the reporter. And so when she was asking me about uh, um, library services, <laughs> I had a bunch of people uh, come in for these pranks. So my coworker, Katie, she's a former theater singer, and uh, she came in singing the Reading Rainbow song. 
Uh, do you guys know that song? Take yeah. a look nope. in a book, The Reading Rainbow. And she came in singing that song when the when the reporter asked me, you know, what what makes the library special? I, I love pranking people and uh, the reporter was kind of blown away. I did a whole bunch of other silly things. I, you know, the library is a place where you go to have fun. So I like to bring the magic to people. Did you ever get a chance to meet the late Mr. Rogers? I did not. I would love to meet Mr. Rogers. That would be an incredible thing, you know, and that's the kind of attitude that we like to promote at the libraries. Every, this is our neighborhood, you know, let's make it special. Let's bring this people. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I love what you guys do. You guys give that neighborhood feeling. What is your favorite thing about working at the library? My favorite, oh my gosh. Well, I uh, grew up in libraries. Libraries brought me so much joy um, growing up. I love books. I, I took creative writing in school. Um, and I just love the community aspect of it. I like that libraries are a place where people can go to feel safe. Uh, people in our community who need uh, the most help to get ahead, whether it's job training or um, uh, literary services or parents who need care um, and, and attention for their little ones. You know, we have puppet shows and things like that. And so for me to just say one thing, it's so hard because libraries truly made me who I am today. I still, my favorite memories are my mom bringing me to the Sherwood Village Library in the Northwest End and just having these days filled with joy and love and uh, reading Margaret Atwood when I was a teenager and not understanding it, but just knowing that that was important books for me to look at. Uh, I could talk about, I could talk about how much I love the library all day. I, I that's my job, but I, I, I always say I have the easiest job in the world. Uh, we ask every guest, but did you comb your hair for this? And are you tired of <laughs> washing your hands yet? I I did comb my hair. Uh, this is the uh, first yeah. time I've combed my hair in a long time. Did you guys comb your hair? No, I don't. That's the key part. Yes, now I did. Well, every time that we, the main reason why we ask, did you comb your hair, is because I never comb my hair, and uh, I okay. always do. <laughs> you got so a nice like, like natural wave though. It looks it looks great. Sometimes yes, I just let it flow. It just happens. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. I wake up like this. Sometimes, Sometimes I don't have all my trampoline. trampoline. I, have I have to put my hair in a ponytail because it gets in my, my face. face. Can, can you do any tricks on the trampoline? Can you do anything like uh, cool backflips or anything like that? I can do a full flip. I'm impressed. You know, libraries are a lot like trampolines because they give you a boost. So They give you a boost mentally. That's right. But trampolines give you a boost physically. Okay, do you think politicians get the actual value of what libraries bring to communities? Thank you for covering that. Absolutely. I love that question. Um, when you invest in a library, you're directly investing in the education of your community members. You're giving people who need those services the most, who need job training, who need financial advice, who need comfort and joy and a place to expand their mind, you're giving them somewhere to do that. So yes, it, it, it's, it's an easy win for any politician to support a library because you're directly supporting kids like you who uh, go and make their own businesses and thrive and bring joy to the, to the community. That is such a good question. I love that. I do not know why. So they open the golf courses. Yeah, sure. You open the libraries. Like, please. Open the, <laughs> if you open the golf courses, open the libraries. Because they're equally as good. Actually, in fact, the libraries are better. Libraries, <laughs> wow. Your words. I don't want to start anything too spicy here. But I, I do love libraries. You're right. Uh, for public safety... Uh, I'm not the expert on that. So the library is going to listen to whatever our uh, professionals and doctors come up with. Yeah. But, yes. oh, you can still get your library services online at reginalibrary.ca. So whether I mean, you know what, you can go to the golf course and bring your e-reader with you. I mean, like, I get that you can't just golf course. You can't just hit a ball in your house. If you did, 
like a golf ball in your house. You would literally break every single item in your house. Hey, unless you go to the Rob right. Peterson yeah. show. Unless you go to the Rob Peterson show, which is pretty rare. Um, so, yeah, because yeah, this is, I've only just said this for one reason. You like comic books, and I like anime. It's really good. Oh, you like anime? I love anime. I'm waiting Wait, for the My Hero like... Academia 24 to come out. Oh, you and... have good taste. You have good taste, my friend. And yes, uh, yes, on uh, the Libyan Libya 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 there's lots of there's anime lots on, on, on Libyan Libya so, Libya so, so Again, ReginaLibrary.ca. The Regina Library has pretty much every single book you could ask for, except for those really, really unknown books. Which nobody knows about. You know what? With with the uh, interprovincial library loan program, um, uh, SILS is what it's called. I mean, you can get books from all around Canada. Of course, that's when we're open, so we're not physically open yet. Uh, but when we are, you can borrow books from pretty much anywhere. So I found some really rare titles that I was looking for. Uh, specifically in the anime department, and uh, I ha was able to get those books. Uh, but for now, like all the digital services, I haven't had a problem finding anything I need. If you weren't the social media guy for the library, what would you be? Uh, hanging out, out at the library. library. That's, That's what, what I'd, I'd be doing. doing. I'd, I'd be uh, uh, just, just hanging, hanging out, out there. there. Uh, uh, I, I do, do write, write comedy. comedy. Um, you could so so comedy writer. Writer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Comic, Comic writer. writer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And thank you for joining and us people. today. Bye bye. Thank you bye guys. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>